if you've not heard of Autumn RPG, then you're either extremely new to the hobby or live in a windowless basement without internet. That's just a fact. AP's global reputation has been so untouchable that the collector community has named it as one of the holy trinities of high watchmaking. Yes, we can be geeky sometimes. But honestly, the brand's influence on the watch industry speaks for itself. For example, in the year 1892, AP created the first minute repeater on a wristwatch. In 1978, it introduced the first ultra-thin perpetual calendar with an automatic movement. But what makes Audemars Piguet instantly recognizable, especially when looking at today's landscape, is its first luxury steel sports watch with integrated bracelet, the Royal Oak, produced in the year 1972. While a lot of enthusiasts will tell you that they're fatigued by this style, we cannot deny the influence that it has had on almost every major watch brand in the world. Even though it screams the 70s, it refuses to go out of style. And it's not because the brands are doing this due to some religious admiration for Gerald Genta, but because this design sells. It's just that popular. Due to the fact that the influence of Audemars Piguet is universally incomparable, it's shocking to learn that the head designer of the brand, Octavia Garcia, along with Lucas Kopp, decided to start their very own watch brand once they realized that the brand had reached its peak. Taking their combined expertise in masterfully designing highly complicated hot horology timepieces, Gorilla was formed as an independent Swiss watch brand. Before we talk about this watch, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon as it really helps. Thanks a lot. Like any other product in the world, just because a watch brand is relatively unknown, it doesn't prove that it isn't any good. And you'll be surprised to know that occasionally, smaller brands keep their marketing to the minimum for two reasons. A because marketing costs money, they'd rather spend the little that they have on actual watchmaking and providing the best value to the customer, and B, because the brand wants to avoid creating a demand that it cannot meet in terms of supply. And believe it or not, but some brands don't actually care about creating hype. They let the product speak for itself, and this is a theme that you'll constantly see especially when exploring independent watchmakers. Quite unknown to mainstream collectors, Gorilla is a well-respected brand that speaks to a small following of enthusiasts, making it part of that highly desirable yet rare group where it's both exclusive yet fairly priced. And at this point, I'm just describing my fantasy. Started fairly recently in 2016 in the city of Neuchâtel in Switzerland, this maison focuses on designing and manufacturing square watches inspired by motorsports. While the Fastback GT, like the one we have here, is considered an entry-level piece, the higher-end models with complicated manufacture movements can go up to nearly $10,000 which in my opinion moves the brand out of micro brand sphere into a true independent watchmaker. And even though this watch costs less than a thousand dollars, the amount of design detail that has gone into each and every aspect of this watch is truly shocking. Unlike many watches in this price segment, both from micro and traditional watchmakers, this timepiece is ultra lightweight. And the main reason for that is that instead of using PVD coated stainless steel, this case is composed of a blend of a few different lightweight materials. The blue case is made of forged carbon. The fixed bezel is made entirely of polished ceramic. And that black pinstripe part that you see is made of anodized aluminum. 
But wait, there's more. We also have titanium, specifically when it comes to the crown and the case back, along with an integrated Vuitton rubber strap, which by the way is remarkably more dense than traditional rubber. In short, this watch can take a serious beating. The case thickness comes down to 13 millimeters with a sapphire crystal treated with anti-reflective coating on both sides. You get a titanium screw down crown and applied crown guards with aluminum inserts that give this watch a solid 100 meters of water resistance. And although this isn't a dive watch, you can still wear it at the pool or other recreational water-based activities thanks to the screw down crown which solidifies the 100 meter water resistance rating. The dial is multi-layered with the blue anodized aluminum base radially finished, which continues even on the red minute track. And everything else on the dial has been designed to maximize legibility. For instance, the loom filled white Arabic numerals are painted black from the sides, just to make them appear elevated and therefore making them easier to read against the blue background. And this essentially being a sports watch with its primary functionality being time tracking during highly intensive motorsports where every second is of the essence, it makes logical sense that the wide numerals on the dial feature seconds instead of traditional hours or minutes. The black center ring acts as an hour track while the red chapter ring around the outer edge of the dial displays the minute track in black. You also get a skeletonized red minute hand, which pairs really well with the white black hour hand and the monochromatic seconds hand. And although the fact that each hand has its unique design character may make the dial appear busy, but once you get used to it, you'll start to appreciate the practical aspect of such a design language. And then of course, at the 530 position, you get a glimpse of the balance wheel of the Miura 905S automatic movement, showcased with a black outer ring at the periphery of the opening. Powering the watch is Miura's ultra-thin automatic 905S caliber, which is one of the more premium movements by the Japanese brand. You get a full view of this caliber through the sapphire exhibition in the center of the brushed titanium case back. This movement beats at 4Hz, or 28,800 vibrations per hour, has a 42 hours of power reserve, and also features hacking function which is when the second hand stops when you pull out the crown, making adjusting the time easier. Straps and bracelets are areas where even big brands, demanding huge sums of cash, attempt to save money. Everybody knows this. But unlike those brands, Gorilla watches continue their attention to detail, starting from the case and going all the way through to their titanium pin buckle. And instead of a traditional rubber strap that is susceptible to rather unappealing wear and tear, Gorilla straps are composed of bicolor Vuitton strap. If you've never heard of this material before in the watch space, don't be surprised because Vuitton is more commonly used in the aerospace and the automotive industry, thanks to its extraordinary durability and wide range of temperature resistance. While the easiest thing to do when designing an automotive themed timepiece would be to simply match the color scheme or specific identifiable characteristics of a specific car to the watch. But Gorilla has done something that they teach about at design school, and that is to create a design language based on the DNA of the inspiration behind it, instead of simply copy pasting some inspirational elements. This makes the design a thousand times more difficult to produce and a thousand times more difficult to sell which is why it's quite rare to find this level of watchmaking expertise, especially at this price bracket. Let me know what you think of this watch in the comments below. Also do check out Red Army watches for this and many other unique timepieces. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.